All right, guys, we're at Walmart. We're going to be buying the cheapest air rifle here and then going hunting with it. All right, so here's our Walmart's hunting section. Let's find the cheapest air rifle. Okay, so right there is the Daisy Red Rider. You've all, all of you seen that before, but the cheapest one is this Daisy Buck air rifle, BB gun. Okay, so there's an employee right over there like staring at me. I don't want them to see the camera or else we could be like kicked out or something. So I'm just gonna just walk over there. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so we're back with the air rifle. And I mean, this is a BB gun, it's not a pellet gun. It's still an air rifle. Technically this is an air rifle because there's like a spring in here that pushes the air, but we're just going to unbox it. I used to have a Red Rider when I was a little kid. Went hunting with that thing everywhere. I've never had one of these before. So there it is. All right, there's our BB gun. <laughs> this thing is so tiny. Oh my gosh, there's no way I'm gonna kill something with this. I did buy some BBs while I was at Walmart for a dollar. So let's go and load this thing up. Probably best to get a funnel. Okay, we're loaded. Close the thing. Safety. All right, let's go see how the accuracy is with this thing. There is no adjustable sights like on the Daisy Red Rider, so I'm not sure if this thing's gonna be very accurate. Let's go test it. Okay, we'll just slam that into the dirt. I'm just gonna aim at this general area. Let's get shooting. Okay, so I shot about 10 yards away. Here's my grouping. Looks like I shot a shotgun at the target, but I was kind of aiming in this little, I don't know, that part. I'm guessing that's a solid three inch group. Like all spring-powered air rifles, it does take some time to break the gun in. So after shooting about 100 more times, this is what happened with my accuracy. Okay, I think I just shot the best group ever that's ever been shot with this gun. That's like 20 shots right there in the same hole. But I was standing like five feet away, so... That's about our effective range right there for hunting. So it looks like hunting with this BB gun is going to be more challenging than I was thinking. But, I have a plan. That did end up splitting the wood when I was screwing this in, but here's what I came up with. So the reason this gun isn't accurate is because when you go to hold it, without this thing on I put on, the sights are too close, and there's this, there's this big gap between this sight and this sight, so the front sight's kind of floating around. So what I did is I put this piece of wood on here, I just screwed it on, so it extends the sights further away from my eyeballs. So when I go to hold it up, there's like barely any room between the back sight and the front sight. It makes this a lot more accurate now, which is going to help me kill something. So I took like 15 shot group at 10 yards away. If you remember from last time, the group was like three inches big. But this time, check this out. That's like an inch group right there. If we don't count this one, this one, and there's two right there. Out of 20 shots, I mean, that really isn't that bad, but that's like an inch group. For 10 yards with a BB gun, I'll take that. So I will have to aim a little bit high and a little bit left to be able to hit a sparrow. We're going to try to get a sparrow because I don't know if this can even kill anything even bigger than a sparrow. So let's get hunting with this. I actually already took a few shots at stuff at sparrows today. I missed every single shot. <laughs> this is going to be a challenge. Hopefully I can get this done today. Okay, let's go try to find some sparrows. So it's a little later in the day. I got my BB gun and instead of walking around trying to stalk in close to a sparrow, I'm just going to wait for him to come over to me. I'm just hiding behind these stacks of tubs right here. And they're just landing up in these rafters. Like there's one right there. There's another one that just flew in. So yeah, they're flying in and out of this barn all the time. They're actually a big pest here. So they poop literally everywhere and they just make a big mess of things. So we're just gonna try to take them out with the BB gun. Okay, I gotta aim a little bit high and let. I can't tell where I'm hitting with this thing. 
Burn it. What the heck? There's feathers. I saw feathers falling, falling down. How do I keep missing all these? Okay, my excuse is it's dark up there. It's hard to see these front sights because they're dark too. I guess the good thing about hunting with this BB gun is it's not very powerful, so it's not going up and putting holes in the metal like my brake barrels or PCP would do. No way, he just went down. Guys, I just I just shot a sparrow with my BB gun. I think I saw him fall over here. He just went down right over here somewhere. I hope I can find him. Guys, I just found our sparrow. No way, we just got a sparrow with the BB gun. Let's go! Yes, we got a sparrow. Look at that shot. That's a good shot too. Doesn't look like it exited. I mean, it's expected with a little BB gun going 300 feet per second. That was a far shot, that was good. That could have been, I think that was a 20 yard shot, maybe 15, 20 yards. There's too much bird's nests in here. I can't close the doors because the bird's nest. Okay, I just trapped the starling in here. He might still be able to escape through this crack. There's so many nests in the doors that I can't close them. If we can get a starling, that would be insane. Where's he at? He's over there somewhere, did he escape? No way, he just... Oh, gosh. Must have found a spot right there. He's slipped right through there and got out through the roof. Man, that would have been so good if we got a starling with this BB gun. I forgot to say this earlier, but before I shot that sparrow today, I actually took the stock off this little piece of wood on here off because I thought about it and... This is a Walmart challenge. We can't be modifying stuff to make this challenge easier. So I took it off and we got a sparrow with it already. So technically the Walmart challenge is complete, but I think we got to get something else with this. Maybe something a little bit bigger. So I came up with a plan to try and get that starling I spooked right over there. So right there's the barn I actually trapped the starling in and he likes to come over and land on the corner of the roof right there. I was actually hunting here yesterday trying to get this bird and it didn't really work. I was just hiding behind this little mesh stuff, plastic mesh, and he could see me through it when I tried to move. Today I put this camo stuff over it, try to block his view a little bit. I also put my big camera right here so hopefully we can get some footage of him landing right there when I take the shot. So it should be pretty good if it works out. I'm going to be doing a catch and cook with the stuff we get with this gun. I already got a sparrow, we gotta get a starling now. I think a starling might be like the biggest thing we can take with this. Okay, I need to start being a little more quiet, get the thing loaded. That starling actually came by when I was talking to the camera and saw me and flew away. So we could have got him already, but you know, I couldn't take the shot. Got him. That was, a, that was just a sparrow, but still. Okay, I think I just dropped that sparrow. He should be on top of the barn roof. Oh yeah, there he is right there. He didn't even go anywhere. The BB gun just dropped him on the spot. It's actually my first time being up on this roof. Whoa, it's a lot of blood for the BB gun. Looks like right there in the neck, kind of. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Okay, that was the groundhog right there. There he is again. He's right there again. Don't worry, I missed on purpose. This thing will not kill a groundhog. That's the second groundhog I've seen just standing here. They keep coming out of the barn right there and just walking right to here and then going along there and then going right down into those two holes right there. I think I should come back here with a more powerful gun next time. I came back for the evening, still haven't had one come up there yet. Been here for about, I don't know, half an hour. Earlier when I was hunting here, there's one or two times they came back, but they haven't been as active as they were like the day before. I think I might just be spooking them from coming here. It's getting late, they're about, birds are about ready to go to roost right now, so if they're not here by the time it gets dark, I think I'm just gonna give up and try something new tomorrow.
Oh my. What? I got that? So it's the next day. That was the first shot I took today with the BB gun. I cannot believe I actually got that. Whoa, about to drop that. That was like a 20 yard shot. He was up there on that on the top of that pole. Sniped him all the way from here. Now if I can just find him. Ah, here he is. He's on top of this thing. I'm guessing it was a headshot because that's pretty much all I could see of him. Yeah, it looks like right through the neck. Instant death. I cannot believe this. With a BB gun getting sparrows at like 20 yards, shooting them in the head and neck. Pretty crazy. Before we do our catch and cook, we're going to try to get one more kill with this gun. There's a big wood bee on the ground right there. I'm going to try to take the shot and get him. He's injured. He can't fly anymore, so we should be able to get him. Got him. Just got a kill. Check it out. It's like right in the neck. Okay, let's go cook them up. I'm just kidding, we're not gonna cook this thing up. That'd be weird. So we're in the cabin right now cooking up our sparrows. Made a nice fire for them. I put nothing on them, no seasoning, just it's just straight sparrow. We're gonna see how it tastes. I forgot to bring a plate, so I'm just gonna put them on this big leaf I found. Okay, here they are. They look pretty good. I mean, just little sparrow nuggets. I've tried sparrow before and it always has this weird taste to it, so we'll see if it still tastes weird. Tastes like dove. I'm just gonna eat all of them at once. Oh man, one of them doesn't taste good. That could be because that second sparrow I shot, I accidentally left it in the barn for like half the day when it was 80 degrees out until I cleaned it because I forgot about it. So it could have been rotten, but probably be fine. So that's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe if you like the hunting challenges and also hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.